All right, everyone, launch control. Whoa, <laughs> the car lowered down. <laughs> that was 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour. Whew. Let's go with this first Ferrari four-door. It does compete with other luxury sports SUV like the Aston Martin DBX, Lamborghini Euros, the Bentley Ben Tiger, and maybe also with the Germans in Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, BMW X5M, X6M, Audi RS Q8. Of course, this one here among the most expensive ones. We'll start here with the front. A very sensual one indeed. Beautiful design. They haven't put the hood too long actually to keep everything in check with the proportions. Design wise here, a Thomas Blue, they picked that especially for me. <laughs> they call it Corsa Blue actually. And then this mesh grille here in the lower part, carbon fiber use. You can also go with a more subtle black styling if you like. Well, this is actually the key fob. <laughs> you can maybe also put it to the wall at home or something. These are the functions on the back side. And the length here is 4 meters 97 or 196 inches. So indeed, yeah, kind of for European purposes, full size, for American purposes, rather mid-size. Um, I mean, look at that. This silhouette is really, once again, so sensual. And the whole ground clearance here is 18.5 centimeters or seven inches. And it can be lifted maximum up another three centimeters or one inch then also you can see here this is kind of like a visual separation of the lower part of the car and here the higher part wheels in the front is 22 inch we'll soon see the rear which is 23 inch and we can already see here the carbon fiber ceramic brakes these here are actually standard the famous three-quarter rear perspective wow so sculptural slim tail lamps right here and of course the main reason why not going like yet is this. Roof is standard in carbon fire. Fire? <laughs> Roof is in carbon fiber, of course, as standard, but it's still painted black then. Interesting. But this one here is equipped with the optional electrochromic roof, and this is then good for leaving light in or out with this electric function. And now, what we have here is a 6.5 liter V12 with 725 horsepower, naturally aspirated. <laughs> yeah, and this is also, of course, one of the unique selling points of this vehicle. Acceleration figures is 3.3 seconds to 1 kilometers or 62 miles an hour and 10.6 seconds to 200 kilometers an hour or 125 miles an hour. Then here, the front door. You open just like this, the manual thing, but also first time for a Ferrari is they offer a soft close right here. And you can also see it framed as windows here with dual insulation glass and the front door from the inside here. Once again, you have carbon fiber use and some microfiber then here in the lower part. First look at this cockpit here with the steering wheel, big shifting pedals here that are attached to the column behind it. Standard Ferrari. start up engine is here in the front and also illuminated. But before we continue with more deals in the front, let me show you one of the highlights of the vehicle. And these are the special doors. Look at that. First of all, there's the manual function when I just pull it shortly. Suicide doors and then I manually move them but with the help of an electric motor so it's not too heavy. Once again also soft close for the rear doors and when I pull it a little bit longer then there's the fully electric opening like this. Show effect. Wow. Single seat setup for the rear. Split in the middle then. You have the window controls there in the middle for example and also individual electric control right here. And is it really a to get in the rear here with the suicide doors now let me see yeah it's actually quite good of course this area is also quite cramped and yeah this ferrari is suitable for four tall adults indeed space wise it fits easily is it super comfortable yeah i think the surface the seating surface is kind of stiff it will be better when you have the standard alcantara equipment 
because also for the front seat here standard would be that you have Alcantara in the middle and that is a special new Alcantara which also has two-thirds of recycling share seating in the front it is of course sporty as you would expect from Ferrari then of course a little bit higher as for the height it's no problem indeed so I have enough space and also here to move around so um, yeah that's actually fine as for the offering in the front and should you wonder yes because of this b pillar split you can indeed first close the front door and after that close the rear door so that is possible no problem at all you will not break the car with this there we go goodbye <laughs> wait we're not finished yet interior cockpit overview wow look at that and they have also unique solutions for that for example you see there's no middle screen you have the screen here as digital instruments and also for carbon and android auto soon going to show you that indeed here need to look here at this unit that goes up it's very interesting right unit in unit out <laughs> homer simpson style here once again the temperature and then you can have more controls uh, in here for example then here the vent strength and uh, you click here and then you can choose things for individual seats uh, for example here you can um uh, activate the seat controls and then in the middle part once again you can activate you know the seat heating like this or seat cooling for example and on left side yeah, also one of my favorite features here in the window the heated steering wheel for the rear climate unit by the way you have the same mechanism you draw it out and you can also here um, switch temperature and also seat control and so on so it's the same logic lower middle console inductive charging pad and then yeah this is like a fingerprint and scratch magnet here. This is then the front cup holder. You also have uh, cup holders in the rear, by the way. And then this is a very interesting element here for the reverse gear, put it in like this. Then for automatic versus manual shifting. And L is for the launch control, which is also a cool thing because it lowers the car, basically. And the window controls are here, left and right side of this console. My favorite switch here on the steering wheel this is how you control the driving modes like ice wet comfort and sport and esc off and when you press yeah all oh, attention and when you press it then you can also change the suspension settings like hard soft and medium in the sporty modes or in the other modes um, just between two modes so this is how you can easily switch things while driving here by the way if you are searching for it this is the volume jog behind the steering wheel and these digital instruments are also your screen on the driver side and then you can for example get to all the vehicle settings right here for example and you control it from the steering wheel or this is then also your access to the apple carplay or android auto very interesting and whoa when you look, look at that for the first time you're like really i mean the integration like this at the moment they say it's not possible otherwise um, so Ferrari said that's the restriction by Apple actually they couldn't do it in, a, in any other way and of course the most interesting thing is always you turn it like this brum, brum. and you also get a small head-up display yeah 21 speaker Burmester sound system with a very cool pure sound indeed the trunk now it's very important here as well 470 liters and the width a meter or 40 inches so well usable luggage for you know like maybe two or even more is no problem at all and then i can also here fold the seats like here and then indeed yeah, this is also a special thing than electric folding seats it takes a while you see i think this will lead to some using their ferraris for even more purposes now all right guys ferrari puro sangue means like from a horse pure blood that's the meaning for that and let's put to the sports mode and use this shifting pedal here and Yeah, shifting pedals, that's the thing. You maybe also see here the, uh, um, the red line indicator and top of the steering wheel, definitely Formula One alike. Wow, 
great handling and naturally aspirated V12. That means I have a linear power curve. It's not that I would get like a like a turbo boost or something. It's really more this sonorous low frequency thing and also so natural how the power is evolving. So I really love naturally aspirated engines. Ah, and even if you if you're maybe in the higher gear or something, it's just a beautiful acceleration experience indeed because again it doesn't feel like this you know turbo explosive thing Whew. whoa that is something steering is pretty precise actually uh, from a Ferrari I would actually expect a little bit more resistance so that it feels a little bit a um, little bit racier I would actually wish for little bit more resistance here when I turn but overall very well to control and it has a great size you have a great grip so you feel very much in control of that vehicle cool thing is that you have power and you have this naturally aspirated power curve with whoa <laughs> wow how did that come where did that come come from actually that must have been like a like a hidden icy spot on the road right I mean, I didn't even accelerate, but that was a good thing, you know, when you have some uh, experience on, uh, you know, on ice lake, that you just, you know, by heart immediately know how to react and don't have to think. The problem is when you start thinking, that might be a problem. Wow. I would rather say it's a crossover, you know. It fulfills the purpose in a way of an SUV, like with the competitors, but it sits a little bit lower, and that's why it also keeps this rather unique position so basically being between these supercars and the SUVs they're right in the middle that's where the Ferrari Puro Sangue is situated and that's actually a very intelligent approach <laughs> sorry about that yeah but I think this is the kind of review where you don't have to be sorry for that Definitely also tune in to one of the competitors like the Lamborghini Urus and the Bentley Bentayga.